the coolest thing is when you look at you know the, the top five, six companies, it includes Samsung, Apple, LG, Lenovo. You know, these companies have been around for a while. Samsung was started in 1938. Apple was started in 1976, which secretly, secretly is also my birth year. Um, so I know I'm a lot older than I look. Uh, and, uh, you know, we started in 2010, right, just four and a half years ago. And we managed to get to the number three spot, um, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, we're very, very excited about being in, here in India. Uh, we're not particularly aiming for number three or number two or number one, but who knows what might happen, right? Uh, so a few things. Um, some of the things that we've been doing lately. First of all, um, products. Uh, we have been working very hard on uh, the current generation of devices, the current generation of software, but also the next generation of software and devices. Um, for starters, uh, I want to talk a, bit, a little bit about Redmi Note. Uh, probably the most exciting thing that we've done up until now in any of our markets globally outside of China was building a device just for India. You know, Redmi Note 4G, uh, forget about the fact that it's the first 4G device under 10,000 rupees, which we love, but it's actually made for India because of the unique LTE band configuration here. Do you know what are the 4G bands in India? Well, which bands? Band 40 and band 3. Exactly, right? Uh, India is the only country that has this bizarre combination of TDD and FTD in a single ecosystem. It's actually a bit of a challenge from an engineering perspective because as you know, TDD and FTD are different technologies. Time division versus frequency division. Um, so putting both of those in one device is actually very hard. And a lot of the 4G devices that you presumably can buy here in India are single mode. They're only band 3, which is a cheat because that's the band that's available in all the other markets, right? No, we came in with a dual band LT device made for India after only being in this market for four months, right? Because we really wanted to show our dedication uh, to this market. So that took a huge amount of engineering work. And the other cool thing about this device that I like to emphasize is the fact that we launch, or we're launching the India version only two and a half, three months after the 4G version was available in China, right? So only we went down from something like a six to 12 month gap, which was the case for Redmi and SME 3, to a three month gap, right? So our goal, of course, is to get to a point where we announce the device and boom, it's available in India, right? So that's where we want to get to, ideally. Uh, so Redmi Note 4G is here. Next one is Mi 4, Mi 4. right? Coincidentally, I have two Mi 4 devices here with me that are nicely shrink-wrapped, uh, and I don't know what to do with them. Uh, but so, uh, Mi 4 is of course coming uh, here in Q1. Uh, and then we have some secret surprises as well, new devices that are coming in the near future. Uh, something that I'm also really excited about is this guy. Mi Band. Mi Band. Does anybody have a Mi Band? Nice. How'd you get it? China, I ordered from China, I ordered. I got, I ordered mine from China. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Stay again. Everybody's waiting for this. That's right. So, uh, so we are waiting to, very anxious to bring it here to India as well. You know, this is a Bluetooth device, so it has some wireless connectivity in it, which means it has to be certified. So that's what we're doing right now. We're certifying it so that we can sell it here in India, uh, and we hope to do that very soon. Uh, 